Okay, so here we are back in the uh, organizer where we left off in the last video. And now we want to edit one of these uh, images and um, change it in some fashion. So uh, there's a couple ways we can get to the editor. Um, one of the ways is to right click on a picture and go to Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. Um, that's one way we can, we can get there. Another way you can do it is by selecting the drop down menu up here on Fix and go to View, uh, or excuse me, Fix and Full Photo Edit. If you select that, you're going to get here to this Full Edit Mode. And um, you'll notice because I had all of those pictures selected here, and now it shows that editing is in progress, um, they are all open across the top here in the uh, edit mode. So these are the four pictures in tabs across the top here. And you can see that they're also showing up that they're uh, in, from, from the organizer in the project bin down here. So one of the things that we had done, um, or we are going to do in class, and that I'm going to cover here is how to make a very simple postcard using these images. Um, I'm not going to edit them here. We'll be doing some of that in class, but I just want to cover what we did in class. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close all these by selecting the little uh, X to the right of the um, uh, window and what I had here or the tab what I have here is a default uh, document in uh, elements if you go to file and new and go to blank file it will ask you what size you want it and by default it's four by six inches at a resolution of 300 which is a perfect printing resolution so um, that's what I did and that's what I have here so I have a blank document here if we look over to the right we have our layers palette uh, and you can see that we have this white background and that it is locked um, what I want to do and, and you have seen the the final version of this I think uh, in class is that I'm gonna add these four pictures to it um, I'm going to try and drag this down just a bit. Uh, I don't have much screen right here, unfortunately, right now due to this recording. But um, let's see here. I can drag this down a little bit and maybe see a little more of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is add these pictures to, the, to this image. So I can do that by going File and Place and selecting the picture. Or I can simply drag them from the project bin up here and you'll notice that over on the right now we have another layer uh, we have the background and now we have the a new layer with the name of this image so these pictures are a little large so I'm going to get a corner move it over here and just like the crop tool you can turn and rotate them slightly you can use the check or the don't do it or you can double click inside of the image so I'm going to grab another picture and drag it up here and now you'll see we have two of these pictures I'm going to make it a little smaller drag it on up here Maybe turn it slightly get the next one put it up here and I'm just going to kind of arrange these in a way that looks mostly nice. We'll spend a little more time on this in class. So once I have all these pictures up here, they look mostly nice. Um, I am going to go ahead and close this project bin by double clicking on it so I can kind of see my workspace a little bit better here. Um, the magnifying glass also will allow you to zoom in or out, oh, in or out of the image. Very touchy. Uh, so, and we're going to look at a lot of these options here in class. Um, and on this page uh, is some more information about uh, how to use some of these tools. Um, but we have our four pictures, and they're mostly arranged, kind of nice. Um, you'll notice that over here on the layers palette we have the four images. 
Um, I think I'm going to move this one up slightly. You'll see that when you select it, it highlights the layer it's on. I'm going to move this up because we're going to write Grand Canyon right down here, I think. And what we're going to do now is add a frame around uh, one of these or all of them uh, and a background. So I'm going to select the background layer over here and I'm not going to add any effect to these but I am going to add some content and there's a whole lot of different types of content in here uh, I am going to use backgrounds the one I believe that I used um, earlier was kind of a weird background uh, there's a, about a bazillion of them in here these prefabricated ones I'm going to try and find one that's not too cheesy here uh, maybe something that's a little plainer than the last one I used. Um, actually, maybe we'll just use one of these uh, ones that I'd used before. So all I'm going to do is click and hold and drag it onto the background. And you'll see that now the background has this, uh, boy, it looks like denim or something on it. All right, well, we have our pictures here and the background. And what we're going to do now is put a stroke around each of these pictures. Uh, but to do that, we are going to have to simplify the four layers with the images on them. Uh, by default, uh, when you put place images here, they are smart objects or smart layers, meaning that uh, the full value or the full resolution, full amount of information for each picture is still available to you and you can still edit them. Uh, we are, in this case, going to pretend that we're happy with all of our pictures just the way they are and we've made any changes to them that we were going to make. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify each layer by right-clicking on the layer and going to Simplify. So that now um, they're still movable, they're still all layers, but I've lost a little bit of the editing capabilities here for each one. So what I'm going to do now is with each one of these selected uh, one at a time, I'm just going to go to Edit, Stroke, and I'm going to make the stroke uh, a width of four pixels. I'm going to make the color black. You could change that if you wanted to. I'm going to keep it black. And click OK. And I'm going to do that to each of these layers so that each of these images has a nice outline on it and it will make it stand out off of that background just a little bit more. So now I have my four pictures and I have kind of this weird background and now what I want to do is put some words on here and I'm just going to write the words Grand Canyon down here. So we're going to use the text tool over here in the toolbox to do that. When you select that you get a whole bunch of options up here. We will go through those in class. Uh, I am going to click here in the middle and type uh, Grand Canyon, even though you can't see it, it's actually typing back there. And I am going to move it over here into the center where we can sort of see it. And you'll notice over here the reason it's behind these images is because, look, it's down here under three of those images. Um, you can drag and drop these layers within the layers palette over here so that then it shows up at the top. To make this uh, font larger, you can select all of it and come up here and use your um, options. We'll make it 60. Let's see if that fits on here nicely. It's not bad. Um, so this is about how we're, we made the card in class. We probably did a few different things. But essentially, we used the project bin to drag the pictures that we wanted to use up onto the new document that we had made. We arranged them, um, rotating them slightly and resizing them. We uh, put a stroke around each of the layers, and then we wrote uh, some text over the top of it. Um, that's about what we did in class. Uh, to save this, if you just go to File and Save, by default it is going to be a PSD file and that's fine because then you can go back and edit it. Um, if you want to send it to somebody or save it uh, to put it on a, a uh, 
a camera, back onto a camera, or upload it to the uh, website somewhere, you're going to want to save it as a JPEG. So uh, if you want to keep editing it, you save it as a Photoshop PSD file. If you want to send it to somebody, one of the best options is a JPEG, and we'll cover some of these options in class. But that's essentially how we made our first project in class there, which was a 4x6 card, uh, looking at some beautiful pictures from the Grand Canyon. And um, the next thing we're going to do is kind of look at one of the, each of these tools over a little more closely. And um, I will see you in that video.